hello dear students in this video we will study about radian arc length and uh, sector of circle if we talk about measurements of uh, angles usually we measure angles in degrees but we have another unit of uh, measurement of angle which is called radian let me define what is radian angle subtended by arc length which is equal to the radius of circle is 1 radian in this circle this is an arc length ab which is denoted by l now this arc length is almost equal to radius of this circle the length of this arc and length of this radius is almost equal this type of arc length when this type of arc length subtends any angle at center of the circle this angle is called 1 radian so in this diagram we can see that this arc length is almost equal to radius so this angle which is being subtended by this arc length is almost equal to 1 radian this is equal to 1 radian and uh, we can find the value of uh, 1 radian and we can make a connection between radian and degree if arc length is equal to r then the angle will be 1 radian if arc length is equal to 1 into r the angle will be equal to 1 radian similarly if arc length is equal to 2r the angle will be equal to 2 radians if any arc length which is which is equal to 2r is substanding an angle theta at center of the circle that angle will be equal to 2 radians similarly we can say that if arc length is equal to 3r the angle will be equal to 3, three radians but usually the, the length of arc is equal to 2 pi r which is equal to circumference of the circle in a circle the total arc length is equal to 2 pi r so if we uh, follow this sequence if you follow this sequence angle will be equal to 2 pi radians and we know that in a circle sum of angle is equal to 360 degrees if you talk about degrees but if you talk about radians we have 2 pi radians so this is a link or a connection between degrees and uh, radians that 360 degree is always equal to 2 pi radians and uh, we can calculate different angles using this relation we have seen that 360 degrees is equal to 2 pi radians and if we divide both sides over 2 we will have 180 degree is equal to pi radians similarly we can say that 1 degree is equal to <coughs> pi over 180 radians because this 180 will come in denominator and similarly we can also use this relation and we can find value of 1 radian so 1 radian will be equal to 180 over pi because this pi will come in denominator 180 over pi degrees and this is almost equal to if we divide 180 over pi we will have uh, 180 over pi we will have 57 degree it is almost equal to 57 degrees now uh, we can say that this angle 180 degree is equal to pi radians we can say that 90 degree is equal to pi by 2 radians if we convert 90 degree into radians we will have pi by 2 similarly we can say that 45 degree is equal to pi by 4 radians similarly uh, 60 degree is basically equal to pi by 3 radians so in this way we can convert degrees into radians and uh, in a coordinate system we have four angles 0 90 degree yeah. 180 degree and uh, 360 degree this is a coordinate system here you have 0 degree 90 degree 180 degree 
टू सेवेंटी डिग्री एंड थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री बट इफ यू टॉक अबाउट रेडियंस हेयर वी विल हैव फाइव बाई टू हेयर वी हैव पाई हेयर थ्री पाई बाई टू एंड हेयर वी विल हैव टू पाई दिस इज अ कन्वर्जन बिटवीन डिग्रीज एंड रेडियंस एंड वी कैन ऑल्सो ड्राइव वी कैन ऑल्सो ड्राइव आ रिलेशन बिटवीन आर टेंथ एंड theta we know that the arc length is l and if we take ratio this arc length with total arc length which is 2 pi r this will be equal to the ratio between angle and angle in radian if we have angle in theta the angles in radian will be 2 pi radians and if we simplify this we will have theta into 2 pi r over 2 pi radians so we will have uh, 2 pi into so l will be equal to r into theta this is basically the relationship between arc length and radius and uh, theta but make sure that if you are using this relationship angle must be in radian now next thing we have uh, area of uh, sector and uh, length of r for example this is area of sector this is this is sector aob with angle theta and radius r we can have a relationship of uh, arc length ab this will be equal to theta over 360 multiply by total arc arc length which is equal to 2 pi r similarly we can have a relationship for sector area of sector area of sector it is basically equal to theta over 360 multiply by total area of the circle which is equal to pi r square and uh, we can also uh we can also derive another formula using this formula that area is equal to theta over 360 degree but if we write angle in radians we will have uh, 2 pi radians into pi r square so finally we will have area is equal to 1 over 2 r square theta but again if you are using angle in degrees we will use this formula for area of sector and if you are using angle in radians then you will use this formula 1 over 2 r square theta we can uh, compare the results for both formulas for example if we use this formula and let's suppose this is angle of uh, 45 degree and radius is 6 cm now if we apply this formula for area of this sector we will have theta over 360 which is 45 over 360 into pi r square pi into 6 square we will have uh, 14.1 cm square similarly if we apply this formula for area of the sector now in this case 1 over 2 r is 6 and theta must be in radian we know that 45 degrees equal to pi by 4 radians so we will use pi by 4 here and we will see that in this case we will have same answer for area which is 14.1 cm square